Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. Welcome back to the um, easy slimline card series that I'm doing. And we are just using the things that we have and we're making the cards out of all the things that we already have. Nothing special and I am doing this just in case you're kind of like, I don't know if I want to do this or not. I don't think it's going to come out great and I'm just here to show you that you can make it be a pretty okay looking card it doesn't have to be super fancy um i think whenever we make things it is always the thought that really matters the most uh, the thought that you put into someone's project of course whenever you finish it i feel like you feel different th much more different than when you started i think sometimes when you start the project you're like ah nervous and when you finish you're like ah so anyway i have stamped and colored these four little images out i'm gonna go ahead and trim around all of it except for the part that I have to fussy cut so I'll be back with four images all right so I know that for almost I think all five of the videos if not four but I think I did it on all five I'm going to show you how to make this eight and a half by eleven be your card base for your slimline card so I have eight and a half by eleven and what I'm going to do is I am going to cut off two inches from the 11 inch side so lith lengthwise so 2 um, minus 11 will get you 9 or 2 plus 9 will get you 11 however you want to look at it and our card our card base folded will be 4 by 9 so we've cut off our 2 inches and now we're going to turn it and we're going to cut off our half of inch now I know that the card videos are not back to back but you know, I'm going to, I guess I'll have a playlist for you all if you um, are so inclined to just go back and look at them while I have something in the iCard. I am taking my uh, paper trimmer and I am using it as the score as well. So I have the paper four inches. I'm just going to score down with a scoring tool. And there we have our score line. I'm going to go ahead and fold this over just like so. And I have the edges to edge. I'm just using my thumb. I'm going to use my creasing tool and give it a nice firm crease. And for some reason, I guess the paper was off. I didn't, it wasn't brandy this time. It's the paper. Not all of those paper strips are, I think, equal, even um, in the manufacturing. I could have just folded over funny, but our length of it is 9 inches. And our width is 4. I took the liberty of going ahead and putting this last sheet of paper out of its misery. And I think I chopped it too short. Which I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece of the card base off. And I'm going to cut another sliver of that down. Have you ever heard that saying, in theory, this should work? So in theory, if you do your numbers properly, everything should cut according to your math, right? I decided to keep the card base the same length and just cut down the card front. And so here we go. And even though all this is a mishmash, the colors and stuff will match. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my card front down to the card base and I um, want to tell you that I have chosen to make it to keep it as simple as possible because you know not a lot of people have dyes not a lot of people have all the things that other crafters have and I, I, I don't want to say that people have FOMO um, and I never knew what FOMO was until recently fear of missing out right um, because I think sometimes we don't have that until someone shows us something like, oh, I really wish I could have that. So I am choosing to use all of the basic things that every crafter should have, which is some scissors, paper. You have a bone folder right here, your thumb, and you have some sort of glue. I'm going to glue this edge down because it's driving me a little bit crazy. And you don't have to have like the fanciest of glues i really believe if you go to walmart if you have a walmart near you they have some craft glue in the if you have a craft section they have craft glue there and it's pretty inexpensive but i would probably say if you have a big 
box craft store near you, you could go there and probably use a coupon. We said Joanne, she can. I know Michaels has been kind of hmm with their coupons lately. And we'll see what happens after um, we stop wearing face masks, right? See if they uh, get it, go back to how they used to be. So what I decided to do with these boxes is I have made them um, green and red. And this one looks too big. Is this one too big? Did Brandy miscut something? I sure did. Or is that just a... Or did I cut something too small? Alright, so I only have three. Let me get the other one. Yep. I did math it out. And I'm only going to be able to use three versus four. Which is okay. It's always good to have more versus less, right? So, this tall piece can just stay on the reserve side for now and we're just going to place these out and what I thought would be cool to do I do think I'm going to ink up the edges in some brown um, just because I thought it would be cool to off center the frames okay like that and then plop in these guys and I think what I'm going to do is use the snowman in the middle because he's solid right and by solid he has one solid square and then I think we can use the reindeer on one side Santa Santa <laughs> on the other and I think that's how we're gonna do it and I am going to just find a simple sentiment and I think I have a small die that says Merry Christmas, I think. Um, and I cut that out. Because I don't want to have to uh, cut any of these out and put them somewhere. I could just leave it blank. Right? So here is our end of card. So I got this Cartabella kit in 2015 or 16. It's an old kit and I just recently started using stuff out of there. And I'm going to use Tis the Season versus um, the other one I was going to use. So here's day five um, card. I really enjoyed making this one. It was It's much more work in regards to how simple it looks at the end. But you don't have to stamp out color, glue, etc., etc. And this is the inside. I did not put anything on the inside. And then, so this is the card that we made for day four. And I was talking about how he's upset that he has to he looks so sad right a tree would go great right here honestly and i don't have a tree the only thing i have is this little girl like she's looking at them like come on you know but um we're not gonna use her and then i think yeah, we did this one next so this one has just a little bit on the inside. And then we did three black card bases, right? And then we did this one. And it just says Christmas greetings. And I do like doing this layering up effect. It's very fun. And I didn't feel too chinchy about using a solid sheet of paper. And this is how it looks on the inside. I probably should have put this down. Let's see. Too late the glue is good and stuck down so that is day three this is day two that we created and this is a a scrapbooking paper and i really like this one this is the only rounded corner one i did and it's just a simple silver gold uh creation and then this is day one but you're more than welcome and I do wish you would go back and look at all of them and let me know how you feel about them. So thank you all for watching and until next time, happy crafting.